Today, let's talk about this, that, these and those, and also singular and plural. Before we start, take note of the following two words. Singular. This means a noun that refers to one person, object or thing, and so on. And plural. This means a noun that refers to more than one person, object or thing, and so on. In English, we use this, that, these and those depending on the distance that something is relative to you. In other words, it depends on how close or far the object or objects and person or people is to you. This and these is used for nearby and that and those is used for not nearby. Let's use this picture of a kitchen to illustrate the differences. In this picture, we see a bowl, singular, of lemons, plural. So close we can touch it. So it is this bowl and these lemons. Please note that if we say fruit, it is also this fruit, because the word fruit is treated as one thing. We are basically referring to the fruit as one thing. Even if we can see separate lemons, calling it fruit makes it one thing. Now, if we said fruits, that is a different story because fruits might mean that there is more than one type of fruit and it becomes plural again. So, what about the other objects in this kitchen? The microwave oven is at a distance from us. So, we say that microwave oven and those white doors will open cupboards and we will say those cupboards and those doors. If we point at one door though, it will be that door, unless we are standing right by it and then it is this door. If you don't have pictures to look at, look at information in your sentence that might give you some clue, like here or over there or nearby or far away. For example, this man right next to me is looking at that tree over there.